I'm on Beta Street in Southcrest, one of the hardest hit neighborhoods from the floods almost a month ago. City crews are out here helping, but neighbors tell me it's a little too late and just not enough. Today, volunteer groups are picking up the slack. Nearly a month after the unprecedented floods in San Diego, city crews with the Environmental Services Department are going door to door in this Southcrest neighborhood, giving out free trash cans and replacement bins. Yet Amy Gonzalez lives here and says the city's assistance is falling short. Sure, it is beneficial, but is it enough? No. So I wonder why after everything that happened, they want to do their work. It's like, come on, <laughs> our lives got ruined. Amy gave me a tour of her home. It's depressing. Damaged by the floods. Ended up just being sticks. I have a stick house. <laughs> Now her own father is having to rebuild the pieces. But I have to do what I have to do to save the house. The city to do something about it. That's it. Do something. That's all I can say. Today, a group of volunteers known as the Union Carpenters is out here restoring these homes for free. Got into action. We put our boots on the ground. And since day one, we've been here helping out the families in need. They are rebuilding 12 homes in this neighborhood, while neighbors are remaining tight-knit, handing out snacks uh, to volunteers as a token of their appreciation. Anybody that can come out and support, we still definitely much appreciate. Working together tirelessly to pick up the slack, people here are hopeful their efforts will trigger a stronger response from city officials. We're here to lend a hand, and we're ready to help. Um, these recovery efforts. It's kind of like they're trying to uh, cover what they did, not really taking uh, in consideration, yeah, we messed up. Flood victims looking for more help and assistance can head to CBS8.com. Just click on the help button. Ariana Cohen, CBS8.